This video is to explain how the Wolf preprocessing system, WPS, is organized and what it does to set up a Wolf simulation. When you set up a Wolf simulation, like with any climate model, you have to select the physical and dynamical schemes you want to use. But because Wolf is a regional model, you also have to create the grid, the initial conditions, and the boundary conditions. Wolf comes with a pre-processing program, WPS, to simplify those steps for you. So you want to run a Wolf simulation using Wolf.exe. This program takes different types of inputs. It needs a nameless file called nameless.input. This is a text file that can be edited by the user. This nameless contains information about the timing of the simulation, the grid, the physical and dynamical schemes you want to use, information about the data simulation, I.O. handling, and so forth. You also need a range of files containing parameters for different schemes that are sent to you at the same time as the Wolf model. Then you will also need information about the initial conditions, the boundary conditions at the set frequency, and the boundary conditions and initial conditions need to be on the same grid and cover the same time period as the Wolf simulation you want to run. You need to create those. Those are stored in NetEDF files and they need to be provided following a very specific format required by Wolf. And that's what WPS helps you to create. So let's first start by creating the grid. To create the grid, you'll use the program geogrid.exe. This program needs a nameless file with some grid information, but it also needs some geographical data source because geogrid.exe creates a grid and interpolate to that grid a range of geographical data such as topography, Nancy mask, the vegetation types, and so on. In addition, to handle the interpolation, it needs a table file, geogrid.table, which tells geogrid what input it can use and how it can interpolate it, and so on. You usually don't need to change this geogrid.tbl file, and it is provided to you within the WPS. Once you run geogrid.exe, you get a geo underscore em file for each domain of your simulation. If you run at NCI, the geographical data is already installed and you can find it at this location. So now that you have created your grid, it's time to look at the meteorological forcing. Things are a bit more complicated for this, since meteorological forcings can have a range of sources. The first thing you need to do is to format the meteorological forcing to a specific format, WPS expect. WPS expects the meteorological data to be in intermediate format. This format is explained in the WPS manual. It is possible to create this format yourself um, simply by writing your own code. Although, if your meteorological data is originally 
in grip format. WPS contains programs to help you reformatting this data from grip to the intermediate format. In this case, you will need the utilities linkgrip.csh and ungrip.exe to create your to reformat your methodological data. Ungrip also needs information from the name WPS and it needs a table file, vtable. This table file can change depending on the meteorological data. Several table files are provided with WPS. You need to check that you are using the correct vtable file before running and grip that active. Once you have run and grip that exe, you get your main data still on the original grid and on the original vertical levels, it's simply in another file format. Now we need to interpolate all data to the same grid. For this, you run medgrid.exe in WPS. These programs need the grid in GOEM files, the metadata in, in intermediate format, information in the name list of the VPS, and another table, which is called medgrid.table. Again, this can be different depending on the source of the meteorological data, and you need to make to sure you're using the right table for your data. Once medgrid has run, it will interpolate the geographical data and the meteorological data on the grid you want to run for your work simulation and put all the data in the NetCDF, in NetCDF files called met underscore em. Now, once you have your, all your data on the grid you want to use for wolf.exe, but you still need to do the vertical interpolation to the same vertical levels you would want to run in wolf.exe, and change the formatting of the file to what wolf expects, as well as probably calculating some uh, derived values from um, the meteorological data depending on what you provide. All this is done by as a real data exe program that is contained within Wolf. It will take as input the MetEM files, the namely that input that you use for the rule you use for your Wolf simulation, and it will create the initial condition file, the boundary condition files, and any other files that other options in Wolf might need, such as time varying sea surface temperature, information for data assimilation, and so on. Once you get all those files created, you can then run your Wolf simulation. So this is the end of this video presenting you the whole ecosystem of WOLF and WPS and how to set up your simulations with WOLF.